Take strawberry jelly and place it into a jug then add some hot water and we're going to leave this for a few minutes and then mix everything together. The jelly should melt and be quite liquid. Add your strawberry jelly mixture into a baking tray which has been sprayed with some cooking oil so it's easier to take the jelly out. And then we're going to place this into the freezer for an hour or so. Once it's ready you can cut out small circle shapes and we're going to cut them in half. We're going to be adding this into our heart shaped molds. Next we're going to be making a strawberry puree so add your strawberries with sugar inside and we're going to cook this for about 5 to 10 minutes. Once they're done, we're going to put them in a blender and blitz until it's nice and smooth. To make the strawberry mousse, we're going to add double cream or heavy cream into a bowl. Whisk it for a few minutes, then we're going to add some icing sugar and whisk it again until it's nice and fluffy. Then add your strawberry puree inside and mix everything together until it's nice and smooth. Add your gelatin and amaretto and mix everything together. Then we're going to add everything into the piping bag because it will be much easier to pipe into the molds. Take your heart shaped molds, I'm using this one, I found it on Amazon, and then fill it with strawberry mousse about halfway and do this with all of them. Then we're going to add our strawberry jelly inside right in the middle, it fits nice and well. And we're going to top it up again with more strawberry mousse. We're going to place these into the freezer overnight or at least 8 hours. While your mini hearts are in the freezer we're going to be making our chocolate mirror glaze. In a bowl with cold water add your gelatin leaves and make sure they soak for 5 minutes. Then we're going to add water into a pan with sugar, then add your cocoa powder and double cream. Mix everything together until nice and smooth consistency. You want to cook it until it starts to bubble up. Then you want to add dark chocolate, I'm using 75% and mix everything together until nice and smooth. Take your gelatin leaves out and squeeze out any extra water that you might have and then add that into your chocolate mixture. Make sure it's all dissolved and mixed through. Lastly, use your hand blender and mix everything together and you'll see the mixture is becoming nice and glossy. Then you want to sift through your mixture. I sifted it through twice just because you get little bits. Make sure your chocolate is the right temperature before glazing a cake. It needs to be 45 degrees Celsius. You can find my recipe on my website at alizyamifood.com Once your mini hearts are completely frozen, we're going to carefully take them out from the molds. And you need to apply the mirror glaze while they are frozen for the best results. So place them onto a cooling rack with a deep dish so it can drip down and apply the mirror glaze on each cake. I just find this so mesmerizing and I can watch applying mirror glaze onto cakes all day. Now we're going to leave them to set for a few minutes. If you want to be more creative, you can drizzle red mirror glaze on top. Use your imagination and decide what you want to decorate it with. Sometimes I like the simple look. And when you cut inside into each heart, you will see the beautiful strawberry mousse, strawberry jelly and our chocolate mirror glaze on top.
recipe, we're going to need some creme fraiche, egg wash, icing sugar, strawberries, dark or milk chocolate, one sheet of puff pastry, caster sugar, and I've got this heart shaped cookie cutter. Roll out your sheet of puff pastry. We're going to cut out as many hearts as we can. Prick each heart with a fork, and this is to make sure they don't rise too much. Cut your strawberries into nice bite-sized pieces, just in half, these are very small ones. Add a little bit of icing sugar into your creme fraiche and just give it a good mix. Add chocolate into your bowl and we're going to melt that in the microwave just for one minute until it's nice and soft. Place your chocolate into your Ziploc bag. Take one of the hearts, place it on the board and we're going to squish down a little bit and we're going to add some fresh cream or creme fresh just on top. Now we're going to add some fresh strawberries in between and we're going to top it up with another heart just like that. And take your melted chocolate and move it zigzag way around the heart. We're going to need butter, sugar, flour, vanilla extract, nutmeg and cinnamon, one egg, baking powder and I've got different types of food coloring you can really use your imagination and make any color you like. Add your sugar. Add your cinnamon and nutmeg. Add your baking powder. Place your dough into your cling film and the dough should be sticky but not stick to your fingers. So we're just gonna shape it up. And it makes quite a lot of dough so if you're not gonna use it all you can freeze it. Add some flour to your flat surface and we're going to take the dough out. Add a drop of food coloring, the color you want to make your dough. Roll it out into a large sausage, just like that. Take a really sharp knife and we're going to start cutting off. And you can see it's a beautiful rainbow. Once you have your shapes, you can press on the dough lightly and then use your heart-shaped cookie cutter and cut out the hearts. They're going to be all different colors, beautiful. If you have any excess dough, just roll it out into a sausage and then just start moving it up and down like a snake and then cut off, press with your palm and you will have a nice rainbow cookie. First thing we're going to do is soak our gelatin leaves, so put them in ice cold water and set them aside for 5 minutes. In a pot add your mango puree and then add your passion fruit puree. Then add sugar. And mix everything together. You then want to place this on a stove to make sure 
the sugar melts and you're going to cook this for about 5 to 10 minutes or so. Once the mixture starts to boil, you can take it off the heat and then add your soaked gelatin. Squeeze all the excess water from your gelatin and then add that inside. The gelatin will melt pretty quickly, so just mix it up and it should dissolve pretty quickly. Next you want to whip up your cream, so add cold cream or double cream or heavy cream into a bowl and whisk this on a medium to high speed until you get nice soft peaks. Make sure you don't over whisk the cream as it needs to be nice and liquid. Add your cream into your cooled mango and passion fruit puree and mix everything together. You need to do this step by step in stages to make sure all the ingredients are incorporated. So mix your mango and passion fruit puree with a cream. First start with your spatula. Then once it's mixed in, you're going to add more cream and you're going to carry on in stages until you're finished with the cream and the mousse. So just go around, do a circle motions and just keep mixing. You can also take a whisk later and whisk it all up just so you have a nicer smooth finish. Once your mousse has been done, it's time to prepare your presentation dish and I've got my mini super cute heart molds and I'm adding my mousse with a scoop. This is my soup scoop. It's just so it's much easier to put it inside. You can also do this with a piping bag if you have one uh, or with a spoon, whatever works for you. And this mixture makes a lot, so I'm gonna halve the recipe so it's enough for you to make six hearts. Then take a spoon and just gently tap on each mousse to make sure there are no air bubbles. You then want to place them in a freezer for several hours until they completely set. And then gently take them out of your molds and place them onto a tray or a cake board. And of course you can decorate them however you like. I'm using some velvet spray. I'm using red and yellow. So first I'm going around making a red color because I think it's very, you know, appropriate for Valentine's Day coming up. And they look so cute. And you don't even have to decorate too much on top. You can just add a little bit, you know, extra something there. And then I'm going to do the same uh, with the other three, but I'm going to decorate them in a yellow color because it's a mango passion fruit cake. But I'm also going to add a bit of touch of the red spray just to make sure that it still fits within the Valentine Day theme. They taste so delicious, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon on my next video.